Hey guys, my name is David Parker and today we're going to talk about our custom power distribution box that we utilize for various events, primarily designed in the beginning for RVs, but because of the flexibility we put in them, we use them in all kinds of applications and today we're going to go over that. We originally designed these panels to do applications for RVs in parking lots. Since then we've done it for all kinds of things, so it's pretty slick how we have them set up. In the world of these panels, what we did is is we laid them out to where we have eight Edisons. An Edison outlet is exactly what you would find in your home. Normally, this would be one circuit. So if you were in an outside event, you'd have one guy that maybe plugged in a 15 amp heater here. And then if you plugged in your 10 amp microwave here, it would trip your 20 amp breaker. So what we did is pretty unique. On this outlet, on this duplex, you can cut it. And then this is actually a 20 amp, 20 amp, 20 amp, 20 amp. And it's represented here by these four 20 amp breakers. So another neat thing we did is we put two 30 amp RVs on this side and two 50 amp RVs on this side and then two on the other side. And you notice that we don't have any labels on here is because we laid this panel out where the four Edisons are here, the two RV 30s are here, and the two RV 50s are here. So the layout is exactly the way they are on the panel from both sides. So we get the symmetry. So we're able to get eight Edisons, four 30 amp RVs, and four 50 amp RVs on this same panel. And by using two and out cable feeding into here with our four and out distro, we're not limited. So we can draw 30 amps, 30 amps, 50, 50, 50, 50, you know, agnosium all the way across, and we're not circuit limited by this panel. So when we plug it up, we never have a problem with your neighbor tripping your breaker. In the power distribution world, you have three phase power and you have single phase power. When we're talking about distribution, it all starts with the generator and then we have to get the power from the generator out to the different distro boxes. And that distribution network that we utilize is where we take the three phase power and we're utilizing these custom single phase boxes just to give us some flexibility. So we're gonna use cables like this so these are going to represent the cables that we lay on the ground and so in three phase world you have three phases and so you have a ground and a neutral and just for clarity i'm going to draw the ground and the neutral combined because i can't draw white on the board so we'll just call this ground and neutral and just knowing the generator that we're going to combine that and then a lot of people will call this like one two three four or a b and c so we'll just call it a b and c so you have the a this is where the generator would be. And so these are going to feed into there. So then when we get to our first panel, we're going to connect the black phase and we'll connect the red phase. We want to be safe, so we'll connect the ground. In the three phase world, the voltages that we're dealing with are 120 and 208. So what that means is, is between the ground and all the phases, we have 120 volts. And these all go back up to the neutral between the phases we have 208 volts and 208 volts and then of course you know this is blue to red red to blue or red to black and then down here we also have 208 between these two phases on this panel now you can see that we've got our 120 from the ground and then we have 120 to each one of the phases and we also have 208 on all of our split phase or two phase plugs. Now, just for one quick second, so everybody doesn't get confused, you know, you, we call this a single phase panel in the real world, and you have a, say a ground or a neutral on top, then this would be at like 25,000 volts. But if you were to run this single phase out to go into your house, and then this would end on a transformer, and then we would ground the center of this, and then this transformer would be at 240 volts, but then this is how we get the split phase, the 120 volt. It's kind of confusing because this is called a single phase distro right here, but we're actually running two phases of three phase in it, and that's why we're going to see 208 instead of 240. So then when we utilize this in the field, then the next panel that we have in that we install, we connect him off to the black leg as well, and then we connect him to the blue leg. So now what we're doing is we're balancing the phase that we're running as we run the different panels because we're running a three phase system with single phase panels. So again, you'll notice that we still have the same 120, 120, and 208. So then when we get ready to hook up the next panel, we would do the same thing with three. We would hook up the red and we'd hook up the blue phase. See now all of them are on a different phase and then we'd have a balanced system 
and we're using single phase panels on a three phase system. So this would be AB, this would be AC, and this would be CB. And then if you went four, five, and six, you would just repeat these same patterns over and over again. And a lot of times we may have 21 panels. We'll try to always have a, a number of three so it kind of balances the load. But once you get a few and it kind of distributes, then we're able to utilize our cabling. We're able to utilize this architecture. And so now we have a balanced three phase load back into our gen set. And then we can use these single phase panels to then load on for our three phase system. And some folks will ask, why don't you just have three phase panels? And the obvious answer is, is this is just cheaper and this gives us more flexibility and we can use them in a three phase and a single phase environment. And we'll do another video later about the cables. And then we have like our transfer switches. And in these boxes behind us, we have lots of cable. This is all four and out. And each one of these boxes represents about 40 pieces of four and out cable at 50 feet long. So you got 40 times 50, that's 2000 feet. And then if you have to run four or five cables, then that kind of lets each box can give you distribution capacity to about 500 feet. So after we get to the cables, then we have to be able to break the cables out and we utilize something called a tap and tee, which allows us to break out, you know, male, female, in and out. And then we get the tap that allows us to lay these panels out. As we mentioned before, these are single phase panels and we do a three phase network or we lay out three phase power and then we can do a, B, B, C, A, C on the phase breakout so that we only utilize two of the legs off the three phase power each place and then we can do an easy distribution around it. So we're able to take this distribution network and then we can put these panels anywhere we need them for whatever our application is. So it's pretty slick. So this is sort of a custom application that's set up for the RV world. And then we ended up putting these Addisons on here. And then we have breakouts to take these out to anything else, utilizing the RV plugs to twist locks or whatever we have. So we've used this in all kinds of applications where we went into a building, maybe they lost their power or Georgia Power had to turn it off to do entrance work or whatever. We were able to put this in and so we can maybe run the computers, run the lighting, just give you a way to break out the power. In America, all power that is generated is generated as three phases. So you have an armature that rotates in, then you have these three cools, and then you have the power output from the generator. And this is that A, B, and C phase that we're talking about. And these are those big lines you see running all through the world. They run to substations and then they come out. So these are super high voltages. These can be like 200 kVA. And then they run out into the neighborhood out of the substation. And then these three lines, they run out and they're at like 15 kVA to 25 kVA. This is transmission and then this is distribution. And then when we have these three phase lines that are running the neighborhood, then we might just take one of these lines to go to this neighborhood and then we might take this one and go to another neighborhood and yet another neighborhood with that three phase line. And so then that's where we talked about having the split phase that you see in your home. And so we say that the house is single phase. So here we have just one line off of the generator that made three different phases. We just use a single phase out there, there we split it. So that's how we get to 240 and 120 on each leg, which then we're kind of doing up here in three phase world where we're using 208 and 120. And so we can use two of those in the single phase panel. I know it's kind of complicated. It's a really complicated concept, but, and people do whole videos just on the difference in single phase and three phase. But in one quick minute, we basically have three phase that we take one of the phases into each neighborhood to do split phase or single phase distribution. And so that's what we're trying to replicate up here. Right here, as you, we demonstrated one of the panels, you can see we've got about 50 of them in here. These are the uh, distros. And then here you can see we got some transformers. This is the semi-trailer that we carry in when we're doing an event. We just take this trailer because then we have all of our cam tees, we have our cable ramps, we have like here's a 225 kVA transformer. So it just gives us a lot of flexibility to always have all of our stuff that we need. So we appreciate you watching this video. This is gonna be kind of a series of videos that we talk about more of our cabling, more of our big generator capacity. You know, we have all the way access up to two meg generators in-house. We have up to 300 kVA generators. So we have all different sizes and we just would appreciate you guys watching. We appreciate you following along. We'd like for you to like and subscribe. Steven's gonna put all the links down there. And if you have any comments or anything else you'd like to see, 
you know, we never know kind of how in depth to go. So we appreciate you guys watching. And if you have questions, put them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them.